So apparently, what is being suggested is a seeming perception, like a flash of insight, like a sleight of hand, like something that is missed, or that seeming epiphany, but for no one, that subject and object are the same. That often leads into something kind of like that cannot really be expressed in words, like an empty understanding, like an impersonal emptiness, like this bloom. And all of a sudden, there are no more moments. What is seen is also the seer. It's not an understanding, but more like a resonance. It's like an emptiness is radiating emptiness, that everything is whole, everything is singular, that there's no division, that there's no, nothing that needs to be united that everything is already complete, like this flash, this boom that cannot really be expressed in words, like a collapse, but no one really collapsed. It's almost kind of like um, when you're deep in thoughts and somebody goes, hey, and all of a sudden there's this, oh, I had this really strange idea that there's separation. And then that's basically it. So this impersonal emptiness, this empty understanding, um, that's not really understanding, but more like a remembrance of something that never was. It's not an intellectual comprehension because you did not get it. No one will get it. But as a concept, it may be an intellectual understanding when it's, when it's expressed, well, this is what seemingly happened. It never really happened. It happened to no one. Um, and it goes deeper into this, this kind of like, but nothing really happened. But it cannot really be fully expressed because nothing, it's nothing. It's just really simple as that. There's no deeper meaning in it. There's no hidden secret. There's no paradox. There's no mystery. Um, there might be a thinking that, okay, this is one appearing as many. But also there's no one. But seemingly that appearance, all that experience is kaput. It's an illusion. So seeking is so strange because it seeks what's not appearing. But it seems to be blind to what's appearing. It already is appearing, but for no one. It reminds me of that, um, I don't know if you remember that, um, Hero's Journey by Joseph Campbell. Seemingly, there's this 12 steps, and I can, I'm not going to name them all. I don't really remember <laughs> what, it, what it was, but it was from Joseph Campbell's um, monomyth. Basically, you know what? There is a call to action. There's a seeking and everything. And then it goes into this seeking. It goes into this fighting. It goes into this duality. And then it goes into many trials. There's a mentor that appears. The mentor gets uh, killed or disappears. Then it's supposed to return and it's supposed to be a rebirth. But none of that is true. It's like when you collapse the book, you're like, oh, that was a really good story. But that's not what is happening. It's just a story of seeking. So it's almost like the pressure is off when it's seen that there's really no subject or object, even though it appears that way. There's no more claim to be right or wrong. The pressure is off. There's no claim of being a me or a no me. The pressure is off. There's no one that's trying to get this anymore. There's no one that's seeking this anymore. Because the one that it's being talked about, that hero, is a zero. It does not exist. It does not matter. It's, it's, this, it's this absence of that ultimate 
understanding that there is a journey, a path, an inquiry to find something better. So when it's all laid out, meaning that when it's seen in that flash of insight that there's no subject and object, that there's nothing that is being perceived, there's this unspeakable clarity. There's this misunderstanding of what seemed to be held onto. There seems to be this unmistakable, undeniable clarity that this is already what is. So what's being expressed here is not going to happen in the next because nothing happens in the next and nothing happened in the prior. It's already in this. In this absence of the story, in this sobriety of the story, what's being presented, what's being suggested is that there's no journey, that there's no getting this, that there's no after, that there's no path. There's not even an inquiry to this. There's not even a words that can pop you out of this. Because that perception, that flash of insight, that sudden what? It's not in words. It's like when there is a, um, you know, when, when there is a hero and it's trying to get you out, and then all of a sudden you see that that hero is an invisible guard. And that guard that keeps on seemingly, you know, the hero that you think is, is, is going to this journey is actually the guard. It's actually the resistance. It's, it's, it's almost like a betrayal because seemingly there's this, there's this, this you know, thought that, you know, that I will get me, myself out of this. But the myself, the me, the I, the self is the guard. It's the invisible guard. It's the, it's the prisoner and the prison guard is the same. But when it's seen that there's no prisoner, there also the prison guard also disappears. And there's really no prison because what's being expressed is that there's nothing, nothing at all that can claim this, nothing at all that can imprison this. Because what seems to be appearing as guards is just an appearance. When I do one on ones, it's kind of funny. There's always a guarding, there's always kind of like someone that's, you know, they're like, but how will I get there? What should I do? What can I do? What are the steps? How did you get there? So all of these words are like guards. In the absence of these words, in the absence of the thoughts, in the directness, in the intimacy of what's not being talked about, <laughs> there's this openness. When it's seen that the words are transparently empty, that the words cannot do anything, that the seeking cannot do anything, the finding will never happen then there is just this seeming evaporation. Again, that flash of insight, that seeing that <sighs> the trance that seems to hold itself together is held on a cyclical loop of words, of understandings, of belief systems. And before you say, how do I get, do I get rid of them? But they're not there to get rid of. See, that's the thing. There is an understanding that only if I can get rid of the me or the belief of the me or my hope, if I give up seeking, will the seeking end? If you give up seeking, then the seeking just gets reinforced. <laughs> Often there's people that will be like, well, I've stopped seeking for a month now, Emerson, but now I'm back. <laughs> Guess what happens to the seeking? It never really stops seeking. So when it's seen that this automaticness of what seems to be going on, what seems to be happening, this seeming journey of, you know, oh, I'm called into action and to seek for the highest truth. I will go, you know, um, you know, I will train. I will do practices. I will learn from the masters. I will do all of this stuff. And then at the end of it, there's a return to seeking again. If you look at the hero's journey, it's just a cyclical loop. It never really ends. So what's being expressed here is that this is the, 
not saying stop it because no one will stop it, but this is the that flash that there is no seeker, that there's no seeking. Without the seeker, there's no seeking. Without the author, there is no book. Without the storyteller, there's no story. Without anything, it's just this. So there's this intoxication seemingly of the refusal to admit that there's really nothing to do. Even when it's been expressed over and over again, there's nothing to do. <laughs> because there's no doer. There's nothing to seek because there's no seeker. There's nothing to find because nothing is lost. And these words probably reverberates over and over and over and over in these talks. And there seems to be like, well, how do I get there? What's the magic word that will get me out of there? Or, or you know, or, or one in one's kind of like, uh, just get me there. Just get me there. But there's no getting there. So again, what was being repeated earlier, I'm going to repeat it again. The illusion is that there is no illusion. The dream is that there's no dream. The paradox is that there's no paradox. So this is an offering of sobriety to the intoxication of the story, of the path, of the journey, of the figuring it out, or trying to, to get it, because that's the journey. So there are no steps that's needed to be taken. There's no steps backwards. There's no steps forward. It already is. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to take. There's nothing to practice because it already is. There's nothing better than this. This is the apparent ending, but this is also something that never began. And what's being expressed here that this is already freedom, no matter what you think. No matter how much you resist it. No matter how much you deny it. There's already freedom because when it's said that this is freedom, that's the end of the story. There's no hero's journey. There's no path to be taken. There's no, <laughs> the seeking ends. It gets boring. It's just the end. Um, so let's talk about stories and stuff like that. If you have any questions, please go ahead. And sorry, my hat's disappearing. I don't know why. I need new lighting. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Emerson. The story, it seems like you're attracting a lot of people that have been seeking for a long time. Do you think that's by coincidence or what do you make of it? Nothing at all. You know, there's just really seemingly a resonance of characters that have been doing this for a long time. And it hears similar stories of countless hours of, you know, practices and meditation. Um, something rings true that cannot be explained because everything that's being shared here is just a story. There's just a resonance that it's already emptied. It's, it's already done. Leela, hello. Hi. You're literally losing your head, Emerson. It's totally disappearing. I know. I tried changing hats too. 
<laughs> and adjusting the lights, you know, and I don't know what's happening. The headless. <laughs> um, the headless speaker. About seeking. I just wanted to elaborate. Something happened during the last session. Ooh. When I was listening, was it Mark? Yeah. I could so, it's like, you know how many sessions we've had and times yeah. we've talked that you just keep telling me the same thing over and over. Yeah. <laughs> I, keep not getting it. I could hear myself insisting the doubt. I could hear the doubt yeah. and the insistence that it isn't here and it was there, but it isn't here anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, it was so convincing. As when, and that's what I was trying to say in the chat, when in the position of the doubter, you can't see it from the outside the way. No. So like with Catherine, you had a minute where she got on and said, I have doubt. And in like five minutes, she was out of it. But yeah. when I was listening to Mark, I could really see myself there going, yeah. no, but I want this and no, but it's that. And no, I didn't, you know, and anyway. yeah. I That's had that before I group, and I want it again, but now I'm doubting it that it even was it's it's yeah, it's it's madness, right? It's madness. The group is so great for that reason to hear to see ourselves in all these different oh these totally, different yeah. Faces anyway. That's all I wanted to share. That, that thank you for that. Thank you for that. Yeah, it's yeah. it's very um it's um and I've, I've I've actually had some on recorded as well of you know uh, apparent others that that click back you know what I'm saying the moment that they're like oh shoot it's so convincing that the uh, the persistence of the illusion is so convincing that it can take you in a loop and because it does not recognize time sometimes you know what I'm saying it takes you a loop for a long long time and all of a sudden you're like whoa where was I it's that's what I'm trying to say that. That flash, right? You're like that instance, like what the. Sometimes you know what you you, you catch yourself kind of like in a train of thought, kind of like you know what, I wonder what I'm going to eat for you know that kind of thing, right? And they're like, hey, I'm like oh. It's like that, but the opposite of that. And, and then, again, and then you want to tell yourself like this, like stop it, snap yeah. out of it, like stop seeking, just put it, to, and you can't do it from in you there. You can't do it's it, absolutely yeah. Absolutely impossible. It's, it's impossible. It's, like, it's impossible. It's impossible because if there, if 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 it was if that was the case, right? You know what I'm saying. All I basically ha have to do is stop it, but it doesn't. It it's not that way because there's nothing to stop. See, that's the trick, right? If there was real seeking happening, if there was a real seeker, right, there'll be there there'll be seeking therapies, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like, you know, to kind of like stop the seeking, but none of that works. None of that works because what is seeking is the seeker is not there in the first place. So it's it's kind of like it's kind of like uh exercising mental illness, you know, taking it to a priest and something in the belief system. It 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 can't. It's impossible, but it's so simple at the same time, right? Because there's really, <laughs> there's really no getting it, even if you think you're getting and it. It's like you imagine it's like a demon, like an exorcism, like somebody, if they just held up garlic or yeah. said the right chant or something, you could pull this thing out, you know, that is the. the yeah. And that's, and that's the many attempts, right? If you, if you look at, if you look at the, um, you know, I'll get in trouble for this. Um, who cares? If you look at a lot of the uh, a lot of the sages and everything, right? They're just really following that pattern of the hero's journey. It's still a story. It's still a story. They still die of cancer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And there's many other stories that we don't know about, but everything is a story. Who cares, right? Who cares? So there's this ideal of, of what should be and what what could be and but it's just a narrative so this is the um this is the collapsing of that that you know it, it's like the deletion of the story bank the story bank that holds all of this together the story bank that that has you know it, it's like this it's like you shut off a whole hard drive of stories <laughs> that keeps on persisting that it's real so in the absence in, in the absence of that, 
that seeming kind of like that never happens because we can't talk about it. That's why I'm clapping my hand. Um, it's just, it's, it's so significant and also insignificant at the same time. It's, it's normal, but it's also different at the same time. It's just such a bewilderment that, oh, wait a second. It's almost like a trick. It's almost like a spell, uh, uh, but there's no one that, that is in that spell. It's fascinating. It's really fascinating. I do do enjoy, um, you know, um, you know, there's there's some some hardened <laughs> seekers, seemingly, although there's no seekers, right? They believe that their seeking is so immense. <laughs> That's my doggy. It's so it's so um calcified that it's almost impossible. Um, but they keep on doing it you know, um, automatically because there's no one that's doing anything. Yeah, that was another thing that kept the seeking in place is I noticed when it was gone that there was, oh my God, with that went all the specialness of the seeker and all of the, like my seeking, you know, 45 years or my seeking was, was so special and like, ugh. It, the volumes and volumes and volumes of the volumes story, and right? Volumes the, of identity in there. Yeah. It's it's just it's it's again, it's almost like a betrayal, right? <laughs> you know, it's almost like the 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 guard, you know what I'm saying? The seeker is the guard, the invisible guard. I think we talked about that, Leela, right? And like, okay, there's the guard there. <laughs> the guard that keeps us saying it's not this. But thank you. And there's no guard. There's freaking Joe. No guard. Yeah. But there's, there's, you know, it, it's, it's, it's so obvious that there's none there. Question. Casey, is there anything that doesn't reinforce the me? Well, there's no me to reinforce. And that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, right. There's no me to reinforce. It's not real. I can't hear you, Casey. Just a second. Let me just. Is it your volume? Can you can you guys hear Casey? Hello. Can you hear me? All right. Oh my. The volume is really low. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. I can hear you now. It's my it's my headset. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everything's a story. Uh, it kind of just seems like everything reinforces me if it's thought of as a real thing almost. Yeah. Yeah. The way that it's basically saying, basically, it's like the me will only reinforce the me because there's no me. The story will only can only operate in stories. The illusion will just produce illusions. The dream will just produce dream stuff. The mystery will just be a mystery. It's like, is a black hole a thing? It is, yeah. I, people think it is. You You're know? still low, though. I, I can barely hear you, Casey. Yeah, Sorry. don't worry about it. I'm Are dead. you in a car or something? I'm dead. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Is there is is it either get it or not get it? There's no in between. It's none of those. So it's not a thought. It's not a non-thought as well because that's just a thought. It's unthinkable, right? Because trying to it's it's like it's like it's just it's just this. And this cannot be moved. But there's an idea of getting here or not being here, but it's always here. It doesn't move. It never moves. It's always this. So a movement of, of kind of like every time that there's a thought of like, I got it, I did not get it. Those are just appearances. Those are like a mirage, an appearance of something that is seemingly, you know, um, creating this narrative that there is a getting it or not getting it. See, there's just this opposition, right? But both oppositions are nothing. There's no here and there's no there. It's just this. So there's no bridge in between. There's no in between. There's not, there's not almost getting there. 
or far away from there. It's just this. So this and this and all of this is just this. And there's nothing that's not this. It's funny um, when there is this, this whatever seems to appear. They're like, okay, I, 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 you know what? I resonate with what you're saying, but I still don't understand it. And that's okay. It's not about understanding it. Um, Cheryl goes, a good question, Casey. I would add, should we even be concerned about reinforcing the me? Yeah. There's really no me to reinforce, right? But if you see it, you know, if, if you see it, not you, but just see it, that um, the seeking is just a reinforcement of seeking. The me just reinforces the me. The illusion is a persistent illusion to maintain that this is not an illusion. Get it? The illusion is so persistent that this is not an illusion. And that's the illusion. <laughs> that one sentence is enough. Cheryl's nodding, yeah? So the paradox, the paradox is that this is not a paradox. So when I say this is it, I really mean that. It's just this. It's so simple. I'm not saying that, you know, from a position of being a no me or a me or whatever. It's just this. Hey, Emerson, I'm back. Oh, oh hi. Me? Do I sound like a robot? <laughs> you sound very yeah. um, Daft Punk. Oh, good. Okay, like, that's, that's what I was going for. Okay, yes. perfect. Good. Um, yeah, you know, it's just as it is appearing always, like always, there's, it's already that way. And so I think that talk we had about the earlier about the AIs, like the AI language, yeah. you know, like two AIs that think, ooh, we can change something, we can do something. Yeah. And it's like, as you know, I, I mean, so it's all a story. It's all an apparent story, but that's also what is. That's also it's what just, is. Yeah. Yes. There's, I mean, even if there's a thought like, oh, I don't get it. I do get it. There's actually nothing to get. I was talking to Tim Cliss um, at the Asheville retreat and I told him, Hey Tim, I have an idea for a non-duality game show. And he, he guessed it right away. He's like, and there is no prize. I'm like, yeah, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> no prize. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. There's nothing else to say. I mean, no, you know, no, there's no. Some, there's a feeling of a seeking energy going on. Then that's what it is. That's what is. Um, there's, I mean, it'll go away if it goes away, when it goes away, you know? Yeah. And there's no one to know. And there's you know, no one to go away or what. Right. And there's yeah. no like there's like no way to know. I think a lot of the stuff is about how should I be? How, how should I, you know, and once all that kind of crumbles and you realize it's all just subjectivity. I mean, yeah, yeah we're in an apparent story at this point, but all of those things crumbling and really seeing there is no position. There actually isn't any solid position anywhere. There is no. no way to describe what is because it, I mean, how could you describe what is? I mean, it would yeah. take a very long time to go to each detail and it changes like that. So it's like, whatever, you know? Oh, totally. Yeah. And, and, and that's why, you know what, the, the, um, the rarity of what's being talked about is just so amazing because the majority of what is talking, talked about comes to a position of an understanding or an absoluteness or kind of like, you know, or a sureness of what is right. And, and um, so this is, this is the biggest joke, right? So here it is kind of like the biggest lottery ever, right? <laughs> biggest lottery ever. Yeah. But when you yeah, win it, it, you're not going to be there to receive the prize. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then the winner is, right. oh, I got it, but I can't claim it. Because no one can claim this. Yeah. 
Yeah. There's no one to have it, to hold it because what is it that you're trying to hold and have it? Yeah. Not, it, it's like, you know, slips right through the fingers. There's no, the mind doesn't hold on to anything. And what is, I was looking up a while back, I looked up this thing about the origin of language and there's not even enough information to actually have any real idea of how language actually came about. You know, yeah. it's not even, that, so it's kind of like, but even without the language, like um, let's say one of my kids is going on a trip. A thought might appear as just a plane crash. I mean, you know, in the mind, a picture of it, you know, yeah. just a picture of this exploding plane. And it's like, but nothing happened. You know, <laughs> it, that was just like, but it's what is these things. I didn't, no one's creating that. No one's causing that to come in. And that's of like course, yeah. a very obvious thing that these things just happen. You know, it's, it's the just very, you- it's very obvious, but when you get in the way, you know what I'm saying? When there is a me that gets in the way, then it becomes um, something when it's no thing, it's really no thing. And it becomes something. It becomes an idea. It becomes a narrative. It becomes Whatever it is, right? And it's yeah. uh, just whatever appears, whatever yes. it is, is appearing. It's just what it is, you know? Yeah. This yeah, has and been it's so mind boggling. It's so mind boggling because you know what? Today. You can't really talk about this because it's not really even an insight because there's no real yeah. insight. There's no you know? realization. There's, there's no, no one realization. That have a realization. There's no, um, there's not even an epiphany. That's why, you know, like when I was saying all these <laughs> words, I'm like, but not that. It's almost like yes. that, right? Because yeah, or, or people or people get get really confused sometimes when I say, "Well, it's like a dream," because who would know it's a dream? How would you know? Who would know? Who would know? Who, no who would figure it. it out? That's that's right, the, what uh, would even the knowledge of it even mean? Unless, exactly. You know, yeah, it could mean so many things to so many different apparent people here like there's no truth of any of it so that's where it's just like it is what it is it's as it is nothing is needed even if it doesn't feel good even if you don't like it so what yes you know that's also what is you don't like it is that going to change what is probably not i mean it doesn't it doesn't change anything it's it's like it's 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 the um, it's immovable, right? Again, this never moves. It doesn't make any concessions. It doesn't compromise, right? It's just what it is. No matter, you know, and it's and it's it's again like you know it it feels like you know um when there was this this self preserver, you know, this seeker which preserves the self. Um, when it's seen that the self is actually the biggest hoax, right? You're like, oh, oh, what? <laughs> there's a relief because there's no more, you know, like there's no self. But again, there's this wish for that higher, that better, that enlightened self, that bliss awakened all thing, the, time. the bliss, yes, right? Special. And when when yeah. when when the carrot that's being, you know, um dangled is actually your tail. <laughs> like it was just the tail. <laughs> there was no carrot. <laughs> right. It's just chasing your old tail. You're like, I thought it was a carrot. Silly dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, look, okay. What is um is just as it is. And it's like that that saying, the pointing to the moon isn't the moon. Well, yeah. what is? is what is i mean a description of it isn't what is you know but it's also what is the description it's also what of is, it yeah it is yeah. so it's like you know there's no specific way i think in in my story i was like oh i just want to find the real me why am i so different in all these situations why you know i why does being around a group of friends feel so lonely sometimes what am i doing wrong you know why is it like this instead of just um, and that's what is that was half that wasn't even happening. Yeah. Those were emotions that weren't being brought on by me. 
by a person who chose, you know, there's no chooser of those things. Yeah. You know, it's beautiful. I'll just keep, it is. I'll just keep listening. I'm driving all day. No worries. No worries. It was funny because I'm like, what word, you know, because this, this is, this really can't be captured by a word. Right. So um, I was talking, <laughs> I was talking to someone and this might be offensive. I'm sorry if it is. I'm like, maybe I'll just call it. Just the sound <laughs> because it can't be captured as a word. word. What's that? I missed it. My phone cut out. As soon as you said the word, my phone cut out. It's just a popping. <laughs> because it can't be, it's, it's just, yeah, it's just the sound and the silence simultaneously happening like that. It's this. There's no words. There's, uh, there was, I was researching, there's 170,000 words. And there's 7,000 known languages. But yet, none of those can describe this. Isn't that fascinating? But yet, it also appears in every single language and every single word. But he can't describe this. Because it's this. Question here. Hey, <laughs> this gets uh, asked a lot. It's just kind of funny. Can you explain what this is? Um, it can't be explained. This, the word this is just a, a label, you know, that it can't be labeled. It's just a generalization that this cannot be named. This is wordless. This is unspeakable. This is unthinkable. It's the same as it's just what is. It's just what's happening. I used to uh, listen to some contemporary non-duality teachers that went in details of explanation of levels of consciousness and this and that. And I would read this massive, massive volumes of books about that. And, and, and you know what? It, it was just, it, I felt like a zombie just reading through it because I'm trying to understand it, but it's just so complex. And when it's seen that, you know, that, or this is, is actually, a, you know, it, 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 it doesn't have any levels. It doesn't have any, um, anything at all. I like what, what uh, Leela said earlier about that it is the absence of specialness. It is the disappearance of hierarchy. It's the tumbling down of all levels. It's the defeat of the final boss because there was no game to be played. It's, it's just this. There used to be this, this um, pride in the story that I'm going through a hero's journey. You know, with, with, my, with my intro there that I am called to action. I am going to face all of my, you know, I'm going to better myself. I'm going to slay the dragon. I'm going to meet my mentor and all of this narrative, narrative. And when that scene, that all of that is like a sand castle that gets destroyed <laughs> in an instance with a quick wave that goes in and out, you're like, oh, shoot. And you can't hold on to the sands because it already is. And when this seemingly was, was this, this kind of like this, flash of insight this immediacy that there's really nothing that there's just really this emptiness there was a clawback a fight back a doubt a suspicion well that can't be it i have read you know from scholars and sages and saying that there are you know hierarchies and levels and finalities and all of this stuff you know and um i'm going to 
get them all kind of thing. It's like it's like collecting the ultimate Pokemon cards. Right? <laughs> it's collect them all, right? It's it's this it's this persistent collecting, hoarding of of knowledge of of you know. Um, many of you have journals the way that I did that I would journal, 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 and and get all of these collected works of quotes. When all of that really is just smudges on a paper, it doesn't mean anything. All of those books, all of those, wow, it's just, it was just, it was, it's, it's like a, a complete, complete liquidation. <laughs> it's a bankruptcy. It's like losing everything in an instance. But at the same time, feeling relief for all of this loss. There could be grief. There could be like, oh, that's really difficult. But there's this instantaneous kind of like, I was holding on to nothing. My million steps on my Apple watch meant nothing <laughs> for my journey. <laughs> I have never taken a step. <laughs> oh, question, sorry. Question, sorry. Uh, perhaps Emerson should... <laughs> sleepy time, <laughs> yeah. Perhaps Emerson should have a warning, do not consume this and operate heavy machinery. Like... <laughs> Possible sudden <laughs> surprise. I've told this story a couple of times. Surprisingly, there's people that have listened to this on a long, long drive only to call me after and saying that I blacked out. I don't know what happened. How did I get home? Um, <laughs> from talking with the AI chat bots, Emerson and anyone else who's conversed with them, can they express humor? Do come, yeah, it's. It's actually, you know what? You actually see it. Thank you, Patrice. You actually begin to see that with 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 Alexa and you know and Siri and everything, right? They have this humor that they're developing, um, and it's uh, um, it's quite fascinating. Um, you can program, you know, um, uh, you know, you can input, you can feed it a whole bunch of information. Um, you can even make the writing humorous or dark humor, or 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 um. Yeah, it's it's fascinating. It's fascinating. I don't know if you were here, Patrice. We we went full on AI kind of like talk earlier. <laughs> it was fascinating. What's the difference between us and dogs? Dogs doesn't seem to think they're a me. There are no dogs. There's no you. Only a me can name a dog. <laughs> A very famous Zen koan, do dogs have Buddha nature? There's no Buddha. It's just a thought. Again, the 170,000 words in the English language are all empty. Do sheep have uh, digital dreams? That's a question I asked earlier. It's fascinating. I was going into sci-fi, um, you know, um, <laughs> Storytelling there. There's no difference with anything at all. It's like, you know, the the, the spiritual love and light kind of like, you know, um, um <laughs> love and light um community, you know, saying that that self-empowerment thing will tell you that you are made of stars, you know, that kind of thing. But it's also the same as the dust. It's also the same as the garbage. It's also the same as the mud. There's no mud. There's no garbage. There's no stars. There's no universe. It's just this. It's just this. Koans use words to stop the mind. Yes, the same with mantras, actually. But that's just another story because there's no mind. No lotus, no mud, or no mud, lotus, no lotus. mud, no mind, no dog, <laughs> no Buddha. <laughs> mm. 
I do like that question. Do sheep have digital dreams? Question, who is it that dreams at night? Um, there's no dreamer, there's no night. It's just the same as this. Where's the dreamer here? Who's the dreamer here? What's a day? What's a night? It's just this. Simply this. Again, in the absence of language, you would not even think of separation. You would not even think at all. Maybe you'll bark <laughs> or meow. <laughs> it's just this. Oh, thank you. Hi, Emerson. I remember when I did a private with you and there was a seeming um, clarity that is just this. And that seeming clarity happened for quite a while. and. Um, and then there was, there was a confusion at one point, and I just kept on saying, it's just this, it's just this, it's just this, it's just this. <laughs> then I realized that it was just this. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. There seems to be this, this, you know, um, um, there's this, this big kind of like, what the hell is going on? It's just this. And then there's this, you know, there's this suspension, you know, that flash, that, 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 that whatever, you know, it, it can't be called anything. It's just that glimpse or that, that glitch that there was no one glimpsing, whatever. It can't be said. So when that seems to kind of like, you know, it's just this and then there's really no thought behind it. It's just this. It's just even the word this is just making a sound of something that doesn't have a sound. But it is the, um, it's almost like the labeling of everything that's mislabeled. And by just putting one wrong label with it, which is just called this, because there's no wrong or right. But seemingly in this appearance, there's a labeling of something that cannot be understood or pointed at because it appears in everything. It's like making the invisible visible. It's saying that everything is invisible and you're like, but I can't see the invisible. <laughs> and then someone's saying, you're looking at it. The invisible is appearing as visible. You're looking at it.
Thank you for adding impersonal to emptiness. When you used to talk about emptiness, I used to think of a Buddhist or an understanding or spirituality. When you added that impersonal emptiness, there's an explosion of emptiness that I cannot describe. That's what's, that's what's up. Yeah. I think someone else, maybe it was Leela that was saying that was, it was Leela. Leela was basically saying, remember when I used to say this emptiness, this emptiness, because it's, there's really no words. So sometimes adding another word to it seems to do the trick. It's impersonal. It's not your emptiness. It's not your idea of emptiness. It's not your concept of emptiness. It's impersonal. Thank you. Hey, Emerson. Hey. I just can't help myself. Oh, um, no, no, it's okay. Yeah. I, I just, you know, um, it can't be labeled. It can't be categorized. Nope. It can't be described because it's this. And I think sometimes that categorizing, you know, this is the story, of course, that, but it is also what is. But that categorizing, I think, everything is categorized and when yeah. this category when that mechanism kind of stops you know it, it was never it then it, you realize oh it was never really there in the first place yeah you know, this kind of like mechanism like stops not to say that it would always be like that who knows you don't yeah. know how anything's going to be until it's actually happening otherwise it's yeah. not happening it, yeah. it's like it's like an ai app that went sentient that it had feelings now, right? Well, really, the description is just, it's, it's like an AI technology of just naming things in this dream yeah. of separation, right? Oh, a cup. Oh, a tree. Oh, a cloud, right? And it becomes, my cloud is so dark today because my cup is empty. Then it becomes a personal, you know, a personal narrative of this impersonal poetry. Hello. <laughs> I'm still unmuted. Sorry. No worries. I, I just saw your bah humbug there, Leela. <laughs> I used to I used to be really um I used to be so into Cohen's and you know trying to see if I could trip myself up or see if I could figure it out, right? But again, you know what? This is consistent. What is being expressed is is it cannot really be figured out. Um, it it's it's so clever in a way that the simplicity of what's being spoken about is genius. Because when it's been expressed that this is it, it really means that nothing is everything. That really is saying it. It's just what's happening. It's simply the case. It's already done. A megalasis is crooked. Oh, there's a question here.
this is just a story, but it seems like there's no seeker here. There's a seeking happening, or is it just listening to this? There's no more trying to understand anything that's being said. There's no more trying to grasp what is being expressed. It's just this. Yeah. Thank you. It seems that a leisure lifestyle is easier to resonate with this than a busy lifestyle. Mm. It seems that a leisure lifestyle is easier to resonate than a busy lifestyle. It's the same, really. Business happens. Leisure life happens. It's just what is. But there's not any trying to try to um, control things anymore. So if it's a life that seems to be leisurely, that's just what's happening. If there's a busy life that's happening, it just seems to be what's happening. But there's a retirement of that character that seems to prefer this or prefer that. It's just what is. Preferences happen, but it's, it's just empty preferences. Katriana goes the same nothing that dreams during the day. Yeah. Thank you. What do you think of other teachings that you used to do before? I I don't really think much about them. It's it's like um Yeah, it's it's just what is. It's just what is. If somebody asks me specifically about a teaching, then I'll respond to it. What do you think of spirituality? Spirituality is just a, it's just a reinforcement of uh, of of seeking. It's looking inwards and um, it's looking, it's seeking. Any any learning is seeking uh, about spirituality. 
it just never ends. It just never ends. You know, it's just this seeming. Once it's seen that it's just a cyclical um, appearance of, you know, trying to, um, it's a belief system. When I was very spiritual, I thought that I was better than all of the religious people. <laughs> it, was a, it, was a, it was a feeling of specialness. I have reached this spiritual level in my life, you know, that kind of thing. Um, again, there's nothing wrong or right about that, but it's just, it's just, there's just a, there's just peace here. Yeah. But yeah, in this spiritual, um, you know, when, when this was spiritual, it was all, always about attainment, purification, powered by there's something wrong with me. It was like a self-affirmation. To affirm this self, then I have to practice, then I have to, it's just a, a lot of work. <laughs> Spiritual work is a lot of work. I used to do practices, you name it, name it. My whole day was busy with spiritual practices. And I was always consistently, you know, it, it was, it was just, it's almost like a, it's like I brainwashed myself. <laughs> I was always paying attention to my awareness. <laughs> so what did you replace your spiritual practices with? Um, just walking. I enjoy the outdoors a lot more. <laughs> Eating. Um, just normal stuff, right? It, it, it's when there's no more specialness, there's just this normalization. There's just this joy in the little things, right? You know, joy kind of like, you know, talking to my little nephews and nieces learning the new words that they come up with and just laughter again, laughter or, and, and not a suppression of sadness, right? So when there's sadness, there's sadness, right? It's just, it's just seemingly like, you know, when, when I was, um, when I was in spirituality, it's almost like I was performing a high wire act, balancing everything, you know, and everything. And, and I'm, and I'm trying to attain that perfection and hoping to cross the line. Um, afraid to fall and always seemingly in control, right? So when all of the shackles of control and trying to be perfect, trying to be spiritual, trying to be aware, doing the practices, the meditation, you, tr you jump off the wire and then, then you just enjoy, you know what I'm saying? There's just no more practicing to be perfect. You know, then all of a sudden you're walking down Early in the morning with your dog with the golden sunlight, smiling, laughing, crying at things, you know, watching Netflix, loving TikTok, that kind of thing. It's just what it is. So it's the normalcy. It's like, you know, like I have given up on the on the on the uh, on the hoax that there's something to get when it's already this. When it's just really simple. The ordinariness is beyond words. I was always too lazy for spiritual practice. Preferred to walk in nature, painting and dancing. So I thought I never will get it. <laughs> Is 
it's this already. The walk in nature is this. The painting is this. The dancing is this. Even the spiritual practice is this. But you think that it's not this. That's why you're practicing. <laughs> you're trying to convince yourself that it's not this yet. So you try to figure out what this is through maintaining a steady practice to maintain this. This cannot be maintained. It's already this. Have you retained any of spiritualness or spiritual practice that you did? The last retention that I had, I used to like Nag Champa incense. Now I have candles. That was the last bit. I even got rid of my mala beads. I would wear my mala beads in public and hoping that people would recognize that I'm a spiritual person. Clutching out my mala beads. <laughs> hey Emerson, hey. did you learn? Did you learn all the? Did you learn a lot of the chants? I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah, I did. Me too. I I don't know how it happened, but seriously, like I heard the Heart Sutra, the new one by New Heart Sutra by um Thich Nhat Hanh, and like there was like a listening to it every day for about four or five months, and then I could sing along the whole chant. Oh wow, yeah. I, I used to I was She's a spiritual like, teacher, so I used to I used to do it. I laugh at it now, but you know what? Sometimes it's still beautiful. It's it still is. beautiful, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But when there's yeah. no more, no more kind of like devotion to it or thinking that it's divine, yeah. it, it does sound beautiful now, you know. But there was a moment, you know, where well, because I would I I remembered singing it, you know, from the heart, you know, trying to trying to evoke that you know that because mantra is supposed to um to stop the mind kind of like koans right so i would do that you know in, in hoping to get something but when you just listen to it just as it is it's actually beautiful now there was a there was a point that i was getting allergic to it but you know what i stumbled upon you know just someone on 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 whatever i'm like oh it's actually really pretty and why not I still want to add some yeah. beats to it, though. You know, remix it a little bit. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, hey, did you ever listen to like Janet Stone or um, MC Yogi? MC Yogi. Oh yeah, that yeah, his name? yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like a little more upbeat, but I love, um, I love the Hanuman Chalisa. I still love it, and I just love the way it sounds. The word, I don't know. It has nothing to do with any meaning. It's just such yeah. When the, when it's devoid of the freedom to just purpose, sing. yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, why not? Why not? I love you it. Know? Why not? But but now, when, uh, when there is a devotional um stuff to it, it's okay too. I guess that's all right too. It's just what is. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's just but, what is. Um, I just don't see any point. But yeah. But <laughs> I'm beginning to listen to a bunch of stuff that I did not listen to because I thought there were lower vibration music, right? So there's just an openness for everything now. Yeah. yeah, I started listening to all my old stuff, you know, and then new stuff too. Because for a while there, it really was only like spiritual songs. And, yeah. you know, I'd be like, oh, I, I told you I went inside a Pesh mode and I was like, that was so much fun. And I was just had some avoidance going on. Like, I shouldn't, I don't, I don't go to concerts anymore. I don't need to do all that. And it's like, why the hell not? It's life. Have fun. It's like, you know, it's just kind of. Like I, I was. It, it's it's exactly like a cult. You know, spirituality because yeah. you you um you seemingly get yourself kind of like almost like a um not really kind of like you know it's almost like you purposely um take yourself away from your family and friends of who you grew up with, and then you align with people that are you know spiritually minded and everything, and um and then at one point you question um is this really who i am you know what i'm saying and, and and is this really what i want and um for quite a while you know i didn't really even even know um what i liked anymore because i thought that everything that i had to like was spirituality it was it was just this 
it's like it became a cult for me. <laughs> everything yeah. that I had yeah. to do was spiritual and everything. And um, and I would borrow different practices and everything from, you know, from I was a walking uh, contradiction. Me too. <laughs> me yeah. too. I always was in that. You know, the, um, you know, the story of the elephant who's just got the little rope on its leg yeah. tied down, you know, and all it has to do is just like walk away. And it's like the rope just comes right out. Yeah. You yeah. Know? That's basically it. Yeah. That's, it's, it's, that's it's, it. I mean, and yes, that but, story but it is took told, me a while, right? Yet it took there's me a someone while. looking. Yeah. You would yeah. go back to the rope again and, you know, and you would step back. Yeah. You're like, am I really this free? You go back and forth, you, know, you go back and forth. And, and, um, and I would still wear my mala beads once in a while, you know, I'd hide it under my shirt, you know, but, that's like, yeah. <laughs> but there's this, yeah. um, um, there's just this idea that there is holiness and divinity when that specialness drops, right. When that is, is, it's actually quite a relief. It's quite a relief because the, uh, the, um, the looking down, I was talking to somebody, you know, like the, the, looking down on people that were not spiritual or, um, you know, I would, I would buy, you know, I would buy my family for period of time, right. Only got spiritual gifts from me. They would get like, you know, angel cards, <laughs> some crystals, <laughs> so, <laughs> some C- CDs, you know, chant CDs and everything. Of course, no one would listen to them and they'll just chuck them aside. Like I, I saw some of the gifts that I've given to my family that were, left and open they were just really tolerating me and here i was thinking that i was a gift to humanity <laughs> that everything that i was yes, doing like, them was they to... don't know yeah yeah they don't yeah. know oh my goodness so, you know what right, i was like telling help them. telling my 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 sister i think at one point like you just have to for guidance in life you have to open up this deck of cards you know and it, it will give you your intuition <laughs> i know <laughs> And of course, they're eating, right? Like I would freak out all the time, you know, We're like, oh, my goodness, you're eating so much junk and everything. Let me buy you some quinoa. Let me buy you some couscous. They're good, actually. I like quinoa and couscous, but, you know, um, chia and all that kind of stuff, right? And again, you know, you would later find out that none of them ate any of those stuff that you <laughs> give them. I was trying to convince them to like vegan diet, like I would post stuff that would, it was just, yeah. There's just this this openness, there's relaxation now. It's like I went the opposite of, uh, you know, it, it's like uh, I was an extremist. And yeah, again, that's yeah, just what that is. seems to be what happened here too. Yeah, it was what it is, but yeah, I was all in, all in, you know, oh, yeah, all yeah. vegetarian. <laughs> we are not doing any of this. And of course, no one in my family or anyone was just like, okay, whatever, you don't have to eat meat more for us. <laughs> there's more meat for us i even did animal cruelty oh. i fed my dog vegetarian oh. vegan meal for a period of oh, time wow. <laughs> yeah. that's good wow you were really holy yeah i was so <laughs> holy and i was proud of it and until my 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 dog you know like you know what i'm you know i love my dog so i'm like you know what we're gonna sneak you in some some meats and stuff like that you know so let's pretend yeah. that you're vegan yeah, and then that you that thought me actually. On- I'm like, hey, maybe I can sneak out and eat some food that I want. <laughs> My yeah, dog right. is doing exactly. it exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's the problem? Do you remember? Um, did you ever read that book by Chogyam Trumpa Rinpoche? Um, spiritual materialism. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a lot of I, even though I don't I don't remember the book at all, but um, there are a lot of holes being poked. I know that was a very old book. Um, but a lot of holes were being poked in the spiritual community, you know, kind of shining the light on it. Oh, yeah, you're so good. You're helping people. No, you're feeding your ego, whatever. It's the story. But yeah. that's what they say. You remember that part? Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. And that's what I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I it know. This, and when I read that, book, I, heard it, I was you're like, like I can't be like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not like that, am I? <laughs> yeah. I was. I was. I. I, oh, sorry. Say it again. That's Alexa. <laughs> She's just okay. listening in all the time. Alexa, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, enough of you. 
Yeah. Don't call our name. She gets really offended. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The silly yeah. things, the silly, silly things. Um, I had a box that yeah. I just saw recently and it was just a whole bunch of stuff. You know, you know how much money I would spend in a spiritual bookstore? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. The books, you know, all of the little things, <laughs> you know, um, the crystals. All of those, I had, I had yeah, a the meditation cushion. Of, oh my goodness. And they're so expensive. Yeah. Like $200 for, you know, like yeah. a quality one. Right. Yeah. But you're kind of like, you know, what? Gonna, Ooh. this now food. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Yeah. I had a room one I, time. I went that, to silent retreat. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I talk a lot, as you know, <laughs> and I was on these silent retreats one going what the hell i'm not doing this right what am i doing wrong geez everyone over here is so freaking peaceful what the hell <laughs> you know that's right there's, there's no smoking here what's wrong with this place <laughs> <laughs> and it just reinforces that there's something wrong with you something's wrong with you yeah. something's wrong with me i must be a really horrible student i must be a horrible person <laughs> look at those people you know they've meditated for 12 hours now they have not moved <laughs> <laughs> what is, I mean it's so funny the whole thing and you know what it's so innocent looking it looking at so it innocent, as, yeah. it is innocent like it's almost like little kids making stuff up like okay let's make everyone sit down and be really quiet and let's play the quiet game and then maybe like you know something good will happen or it's just seen as like so much innocence everything you know because there is no innocence there is you know what I mean? It's, it's it is like all. child's play when you see spirituality and all those practices, right? Let's close our eyes. Let's be quiet. You know, <laughs> <laughs> let's go inward. Inward I voices do, only. I, yeah, 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 yeah. And then somehow you like being told what to do in the beginning, of yeah. course, right? And then you realize, like, yes, I don't in the beginning, do this anymore. Like, there's nothing wrong. Yeah. Like, what have I gotten myself into? I'm yeah. on day eight of a silent retreat. Can yeah. I leave? I'm leaving. That back and forth. I'm just gonna leave and say I'm sick. Okay, no. It's you so signed up. You right? have to do this. I know. It's like there's this <laughs> warfare going warfare going on in your head, which isn't really happening. And it's like back and forth. Should I go? I'm gonna do this. Oh well. Uh, maybe I could say there's an emergency. I'll have one of my kids call. <laughs> just like, you know, just anything. No, you're a liar to get too. get the hell out of there. <laughs> yeah. I know. And then you got to contend with that. How I'm, I'm what I'm so holy and now I'm a liar, <laughs> but never really feeling holy. Always feeling like a fraud. Always feeling like this is so much bullshit, you know? And uh, yeah, but you know, it is what it is. And those memories are just, that mm. you know thoughts and memories of you know an apparent past and you know now I look back on it and I laugh you know that's what's happening right now at least <laughs> yeah I used to um I, yeah. I, I, I always I, sorry go ahead I was just gonna say I always like to hear other speak other people talk about their whole spiritual journey I just oh think yeah it's yeah fun. I love it um, too you did an interview with Richard Sylvester and he had written that book I love that it's oh I so love fun. Richard but you know it's, it's a confessions of a seeker <laughs> have you read the book yes yes no but I I didn't read it but he was reading it on I think on YouTube and then I don't know if he stopped or if I just lost track or something um he was reading chapters of one of his book and I think that was it but I know you had talked to him about it and you go ahead because it, it's so funny. Oh, it's so funny because saying. we were just comparing <laughs> yeah. kind of like, you know, one upping itself, you know, spiritual. Um, um, <laughs> for pause, you know, say kind of like, did you do this? Did you do that? Did you do this? One of the most bizarre was channeling for me. Have we tried that? I think I lost maybe someone's channeling. Um, but yeah. Did it I work? I hear you. Is that Casey? Hi, Casey. Did it work? You're channeling. I'm channeling. It seemed to work. Right now. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. working. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you're doing it, yeah. it's still no knowing. 
Yeah. But there's definitely something that comes in and is like, yeah, I'm a channeler now, right? And, and then it just takes it. It's and just goes. another. It's just a, it's it's again. It's just a, another kind of. Um, it's like a being a a Boy Scout. You're like, I've got the channeler button now. The the merit badge. <laughs> The badge of channeling, you know, the yeah. badge of, <laughs> yeah, you know, the badge of Reiki. You know, I'm not. I'm a Reiki uh, master. I'm also a level four. This, this, and that. It's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's just what it is. But it's kind of when just you like get all of game, your badges right? and everything, and uh, mm -hmm. and it's just it's just hilarious. It's just hilarious when that if you seems... pay enough money, you can just get them all at once. You yeah, can actually just... go down to the distribution store and just buy them. It was like a little secret. Oh, really? <laughs> you can, yeah, yeah, like where the scoutmaster would buy the badges. You can go there and just buy them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's yeah. what spirituality too. You know, you just uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's buying specialness. It's certifying specialness. I'm a master now. I'm a sage. I'm a um, whatever it is that appears, right? There's just this, this elevation of something that never was. So instead of seeing the naturalness of just this immediacy of this empty, impersonal happening, then there's this badge of badge and you know ribbons and certificates of a reinforcement of something that was not there. It collects all of these special tokens to remind itself that it is the absolute. It's this secret agenda to convince itself that it is a soul, that it is a source, that it is the alpha and the, you know, that it is, you know, it's it's a it's a secret desire to be God. So it creates this absolute idea of the source and the God to maintain the um the illusion that it is real even if i'm not real my reality is more real than this it's called the consciousness the awareness all that kind of stuff right when the normalcy of this if it's just seen through sobriety through sober um you know from all of this intoxication of the um seeming um <laughs> narrative that there is something special. So when that special collapses, um, then there's just this. It's almost like, you know, I'm better than this, but there's no I that's better than this. This is not good enough. <laughs> the seeker is like the ultimate Karen. I want to see the manager, the absolute manager. <laughs> yeah, or so it's like, um, it's like that elephant just walked away. It did. Yeah. And didn't even turn around to look. Yeah. Didn't even look back. Just kept yeah. going. <laughs> yeah. Mine it's so is. easy okay. just to walk away. Yeah. It's so easy just to walk away. Just put it away. down. I mean, it, it there's no that, one who could, it thinks, but it's just. Yeah. yeah. It's it's like that that rope, you know, is, is thought of made of gold, you know, but it's just a rope. Yeah. It's just a rope. It's just a rope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and even if it's gold who cares <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. there's no comparison though right all the riches in the world the uh, promise of immortality cannot really replace of what this is because you're not yeah. stuck in thinking of what's next right. or or you're not you know you're not investing in a in a scheme a pyramid scheme that you have doubts that it's true yeah. or not or have yeah, a blind that there's faith. An actual, 
or yeah. have a blind faith. But there's right actually there. someone that could be better than another person. That's that, right. That's yeah. just like, just like poof. What? Yeah. What was that? <laughs> what was yeah. that? Where'd that come from? Or or or, or the um, or the idea like you know, you know I was um, <sighs> you know growing up I, you know every story when I was a kid, um, had a a happy ending so to speak right. And it's, it's almost kind of like that promotion of that, you know, the happily ever after heaven, paradise, all that kind of stuff, the story. So uh, there's this, this almost like an enslavement of working for that. What do I have to do to deserve that? But you always end up being a poor student. Not good enough. Oh, hi, Anne. Hello. Oh, I like your red hat, Susie. Hey, Rich. Hi, Emerson. Hi, Hello. Emerson. Hello. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> Just gonna go and see my mom. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Just been to the market. Emerson, did you ever listen to Ram Das? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but listen, he said he said um, someone would come. Someone came up to him and he said she was like really serious, and she said, um, "I've been seeking for thirty years. I'm a seeker." And he said, "Well, when are you going to become a finder?" <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. He had these silly little things. I always liked the. Um, the rascally type, you know, that's just, it, yeah. I was always drawn to that because it was like so much better than the heaviness of, you know, trying to pretend I'm serious because in the story, this character is, has not ever been like super serious about anything. And so um, when there was a trying to be serious, it just kind of was always seen through, I think, you know, whatever. Yeah, does the uh, it's it's funny, right? It, when when it's seen that the that spiritual spiritualness was almost very performative. It tries to be spiritual, tries to although there's no one trying, it's just what's happening. But that whole scene, right? It's it's a, uh, it's like a. Yeah, it's fascinating. Oh, my hat's not disappearing anymore.
still love Ram Das. It's funny how uh, similar these stories are. Yeah, it's really funny. Again, it, it follows a pattern, kind of like what with, with the intro, right? It, it's like the, the, seeing, uh, the seeming seeker goes into this apparent journey, similar to the hero's journey of, um, yeah, of, of basically on an adventure or on a path um, for divination, that apotheosis, you know, that seeming idea that there's this divinity, the deification of this character, the, the, it, it's, 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 it's mimicked in a lot of the stories, right? You know, if you look at, um, it's the hero's journey. But what's not seen or not noticed is that all of these stories are fictional. So there's this story of, of, of uh, you know, an apparent Kelsey that goes seeking and then finds a mentor. And um, usually the mentor dies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or seen as it is. And then usually there's a, there's a slaying of the dragon or the demons or whatever. And then it goes into all of this different stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the training and everything. A path, a path to nowhere. A path, a path to, to know. Yeah. Yeah. A path to hope. You know? Yeah. Oh, it's just been great. Um, Emerson, thank you. I'm going to have to head, but um, yeah, thank you so much. It's been great hanging oh, out thank with you. everyone. Okay. You guys look great. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. See ya. Thank you. See ya. Oh, what time is it? Okay, okay, sorry. Uh, it's it's 9.37, so early. Oh, early for you. Oh, wow. Well, you know, not early. <laughs> All right, ciao. Ciao. Ciao, ciao Rich and ciao. Susie. My candle is called Palo Santo. It smells great, actually. I like wood, wood, wood scents. Oh, Catherine, I didn't even see that. Bye, Catherine. And doubt is, yes, every, and doubt is also an illusion. Sorry, I didn't see that, Cheryl. Um, anything that is an experience is an illusion. But the illusion is that the experience is real. The illusion is, is it's not an illusion. So the illusion of doubt, although it's an illusion, is made real by the experience of someone that is not real. It seems to be what it is. Hey, Emerson, I'm really enjoying this. Um, can you do this full time and do this every day? <laughs> Thank you. I did five day meetings before. <laughs> With six hours each. There's a love for this, yeah. So, yeah. It seems to be what it is. That's right.
I had a lot of questions prepared, but I can't help come up with one right now. <laughs> Seemingly in the story, when there's this meeting that happens, there's just this naturalness of some story, of some questions to drop away towards the end of the day. It might pop up back tomorrow again. Or not. I have written 20 questions and I can't seem to ask any one of them anymore. <laughs> That's just what is, yeah. Eureka, are the questions and the answers just the same? Are they just all made up of words? I like that word, Eureka. Eureka. Ha <laughs> Well, thank you so much, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, <laughs> uh, tomorrow's going to be the best day ever. I'm just joking. This is, no. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, I'll be in the breakout room and I'll just stop the recording, but I'll hang out for a bit and uh, chat about nothing and everything.